हेलो गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू बेटा कैसे हो ओके लेट वी स्टार्ट द न्यू वन एक्सपेरिमेंट लास्ट टाइम वी हैव फाइंड द रिलेशन बिटवीन द फ्रीक्वेंसी एंड लेंथ ऑफ द वायर यूजिंग सोनोमीटर टुडे द एपरेटर्स इज सेम बट द एम इज स्लाइटली डिफरेंस हियर आवर एम इज टू स्टडी द रिलेशन बिटवीन द लेंथ ऑफ द वायर एंड टेंशन फॉर द गिवन कॉन्स्टंट फ्रिक्वेंसी यूजिंग सोनोमीटर तो हियर वी हैव अ ट्यूनिंग फॉर्क एंड वी हैव अ रबर पेड एंड वी दैट वी हैव सोनोमीटर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स यू विल ड्रॉ द फिगर फ्रॉम द पेज विच इज सोन हियर बेटा सो यू कैन ड्रॉ द फिगर फ्रॉम दिस पेज कैन यू सी दिस फिगर सो नाउ द फॉर्मूला इज दैट रूट टी अपॉन एल इज इक्वल टू कॉन्स्टेंट दैट वी विल फाइंड ओके तो लेट वी स्टार्ट द एक्सपेरिमेंट यूजिंग द सोनोमीटर एंड यूजिंग दिस ट्यूनिंग फॉर्क ओके नाउ दिस इंस्ट्रूमेंट इज अ सोनोमीटर हैविंग टू सपोर्ट्स विच वन सपोर्ट विल बी एन एट अ सिक्स फिक्स डिस्टेंस दैट इज इज ऑन अ सिक्सटी सेंटीमीटर हियर वी हैव हैंग द हैंगर This hanger is of 0.5 kg, and each weight is also of 0.5 kg, and the second one is also of 0.5 kg. So here we will keep the frequency constant. The tuning uh, frequency of this tuning fork is equal to 320 hertz per centimeter seconds. So frequency is constant. Here we will change the tension and let me measure the length of the wire. So first let me place the 0.5 kg at the end of this sonometer and because of that the tension will produce in the wire so let me measure the resonating length for that here let me place the two supports here one support is at a fixed distance let the heat of this tuning fork on rubber pad and just place on the wire so vibrations will produce in the wire but when the resonance will occurs between these two supports the vibration will becomes maximum and rider will thrown from the wire so let me measure this resonating length so first place if rider is not throwing you will change or increase the length of the wire by sliding this supports what will happen at certain distance okay the rider is thrown from the wire let me measure the distance and the distance is here it is 60 and here it is equal to 47 the distance between two support is equal to uh, 60 minus 47 that is 13 cm now repeat for the same length uh, same tension Almost reading remains same. Okay, now so second time again reading the difference between is seventeen or thirteen centimeter. Let you add the point five kg in the hanger. So tension will increase in the wire and obviously length will also increase. Let you arrange again and measure the resonating length. when it's thrown from the wire you will measure the distance between them here again note down the reading the reading is equal to 60 and here it is equal to 42 cm so distance between them is equal to 18 cm now add one more of 0.5 kg here and as the tension will increase
the length will increase now let me perform for the 1.5 kg and for that again let me measure the resonating length okay now the length of this wire let me measure here which is equal to 60 and here it is equal to 38 so distance between them is equal to 22 cm let me note down in this observation table okay students now let we note down this observation table in observation table okay so first when the point 5 kg was there the tension produced in the wire that is t is equal to mg where g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square so point 5 into 9.8 you will get 4.9 and its square is equal to 2.2 21 cm and at that time the length was 13 cm and in the same frequency feet it was again 13 but you will write here in a meter because the tension is an m case so let you write the length in a m case system it is equal to 0.13 meter now and for that the root t upon l the relation is root t upon l so 2.21 dividing by 0.13 your answer is 17.0 now let when you place the 1 kg it is a 1 kg so 1 kg into 9.8 the tension produced in the wire it is 9.8 uh, newton and its square is equal to 3.13 now the distance between them it was equal to 18 cm so you write here 18 cm 18 cm and meter it is 0.18 meter and the ratio of this root t to l is equal to 17.4 similarly for the third weight 1.5 kg was there it is multiplied by 9.8 it is equal to 14.7 Newton tension produced in the wire. Its square root is equal to 3.83, and the distance between two supports it was 22 centimeter. 22 centimeter. Let me write in a meter. It is a 0.22 centimeter. 0.22 meter. Sorry. Now again find the root t to dividing by 0.22. It is equal to again 17.4 centimeter. So students now. we can see in the last column the root t by l is almost same so by keeping the frequency constant the relation between tension and length is directly proportional so as tension increases length is also increases that's why the ratio becomes almost constant so we can verify or we can conclude the conclusion is that from the last column of the observation table it can be seen that the root t upon l is almost constant eh? so in this way we can verify the relation between the tension and length of the wire using sonometer so students please note down these all readings in your journal and complete this experiment and here we have to plot the graph also that is root t versus l so root t will be on y axis and t will be on x axis so here so when you plot the graph of root t versus l the point will be here and as the t increases obviously the graph will increases so which is a straight line and passing through the origin which indicates that root t by l is equal to constant so this is a uh, mode of the graph that is nature of the graph the graph will be the straight line passing through the origin which indicates that the root t upon l is almost constant so students in this way we can find the relation between tension and length of the wire using sonometer 
now let us complete the experiment please please note down this reading in journal 2 and complete the experiment now have a nice day thank you bye bye